So we have our p-dot static tube and we identify certain locations 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we have fluid that is coming in with a velocity ua and pressure pa as at a point upstream from location 1. Note that the ports 3 and 4 are connected to a manometer so we can measure the pressure difference. Now, if we neglect any elevation difference between location 1 and 3, and they are really not that far apart so there won't be much of a uh, elevation difference, then using Bernoulli equation we can write P3 which is pressure at location 3 equals PA which will be at location 1 plus rho F UA square divided by 2. We will call it equation 1. Also note that at location 4 the pressure will be same as location 2 uh, which is the side hole and that pressure is same as pressure PA, the uh, pressure at location A. So we can say that P4 equals PA and we'll call that our second equation. So if we subtract equation 2 from 1, we have P3 minus P4, that is for the left hand side, that equals rho F UA square divided by 2, the terms pressure PA will cancel out uh, due to subtraction. Now we can rearrange this equation in terms of the velocity, so UA square equals 2 P3 minus P4 divided by rho F, or we can take the square root of the right hand side and we can call UA equals square root of 2 P3 minus P4 divided by rho F. For Bernoulli equation, we make certain assumptions and one of the assumptions being that fluid is in viscid. In other words, the viscosity of the fluid is zero. However, we use Peter tube for real fluids such as water, air and so on and those fluids have got viscosity. So we introduce a constant C and we have UA equals C times square root of 2 into P3 minus P4 divided by rho F. So this is our equation that we can use to determine velocity at location A with a pitot tube if we can get a measurement of the pressure difference at locations 3 and 4. Of course we will also need the density of the fluid of which we are trying to measure the velocity.